Welcome back, folks, to the Random Video Blog. I'm Graham G.S. Matthews, where every single Friday I run down my rambling thoughts in the wrestling world, share a few stories, etc., etc. And right here today, we're counting down my top five favorite NXT TakeOver matches of all time in preparation for NXT TakeOver Dallas tonight. I know I'm putting up the video a little bit late. I'm filming this on Friday. I'm so fucking amped, as you can see. I'm wearing my Bailey shirt for tonight's show, and I can't wait. Um, it's going to be a great time. Tonight, I'm watching it with RJ. It's going to be a very, very, very fun time, and I'm super pumped for it. Um, but in the meantime, and in between time, let's get to my top five favorite TakeOver matches of all time, starting with number five, and this goes back from NXT Arrival to the latest TakeOver, which obviously not including tonight because I'm, you know, I'm filming this beforehand, um, going back to NXT TakeOver London. So number five comes from NXT TakeOver London in December of 2015 for the NXT Tag Team Championships. Chad Gable, or rather, that's tonight. Um, we had Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy going for the gold against the Revival in a really, really, really good match. I thought this would be the night Enzo and Cass would finally win the NXT Tag Team title. Titles. It wasn't meant to be. I was disappointed as everyone in the crowd was that night. Enzo and Cass got one of the biggest pops of the evening when they came out. It was just magical. It still gives me goosebumps thinking about it and watching it back. But those guys are so fucking over. Um, I've always said they're kind of like the New Age Outlaws of this generation in that they're not the greatest wrestlers of all time. But at the same time, they're so, for one, they're so fucking over. Two, they have great mic skills. In three, they can have really good matches with the right opponents. I never thought the Revival, Dash and Dawson, the Mechanics, whatever the hell you want to call them, would be those guys, but they have turned into those guys. Um, on two occasions, and I don't really include Roadblock because it's not technically a takeover, obviously. That was a WWE Network special. Um, both at Roadblock and on this show, these two teams had two fantastic matches. With a pretty simple story, too. The Revival took out Enzo and Cass in mid-November, um, injured Cass's leg. They came back, going for the gold in December in time for takeover in London. You know, a hot atmosphere. The early going's a pretty solid tag team match. The final few minutes were what, were what got me. And uh, one of the best finishing sequences I probably have ever seen. And uh, Enzo hitting the top rope splash. I sure as hell thought he got it there. Uh, Dasher Dawson, I forgot who it was, pulled out Casso, preventing them from winning the tag team titles. Fast forward a couple minutes later, Enzo gets launched off the top rope right into one of those code breakers, or whatever they call their finisher. Um, I forgot what it was, but that jumping code breaker from Dash and Dawson. For their tag team finisher, they connected with it, and they connected with the three count to retain their NXT tag team titles. So a phenomenal tag team match, and easily my favorite tag team title match to date. And they've only gotten better, too. I really like the one between the Vaude Villains and Blake and Murphy in Brooklyn, which I was there for. Um, I thought that was my favorite up to that point until this match, until NXT TakeOver Respect, and, and then until this match, and then now until tonight. Hopefully tonight's will be the best yet. Uh, so we arrive at number four on my list, um, which is very fitting for NXT TakeOver Fatal 4-Way from September of 2014 for the NXT Championship. Neville defending against Tyler Breeze, Tyson Kidd, and Sami Zayn. And this feud was so well built over the course of 2014. Sami Zayn and Tyler Breeze had been, you know, trading wins over the course of the summer of 2014. Tyson Kidd was constantly in chase mode. Neville was the strong defending champion coming into this matchup, and all four guys had such amazing chemistry with one another. Neville and Zayn was the match they were holding out for for NXT TakeOver Evolution, which I'll get to in a few minutes. No spoilers, but I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, so we had that match um, coming up, but this was a sneak preview of that, also involving the very talented likes, uh, the tremendously talented likes of Tyler Breeze and Tyson Kidd. Just great stuff from start to finish. Easily one of the most underrated matches, I would say, of 2014. There's a lot of matches from that, that year that I love. Um, this is definitely up there. All four guys just put forth an amazing effort and deserve a hell of a lot of credit for having just a phenomenal matchup. But in the end, I love the finish. Sami Zayn, it looked like he had the championship won before Neville pulled him out. It's like, what are you fucking doing, dude? What are you doing? Sami Zayn, that is. Like, we're best friends. Why would you do that? And Neville lands a beautiful super kick on Sami Zayn. Heard, a super kick heard around the world. And then Sami Zayn rolls into the ring, or rather Neville rolls into the ring, hits the red arrow for the victory to retain the championship to some boos from the audience that really wanted to see a new champion crowned, and that, like I said, that would build to Zayn and Neville um, at you know NXT R Evolution. And I'll get to that momentarily, like I said. So that was match number four on my list. Number three comes from a, a couple months earlier, a couple months later, rather, NXT TakeOver Rival from February of 2015 for the Women's Championship. We've had a lot of great women's match. We haven't had a bad women's match yet at a TakeOver. I didn't love Bailey Nia Jax from the last one, but it was still a good match. Um, just not as great as, in, you know, in comparison to the past matches from TakeOver. But coming into number three from NXT TakeOver Rival, or just Rival, sorry, not Arrival. Paige Nemo was good too, though. Um, for the NXT Women's Championship, Charlotte defending against Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, and Bayley. The first real preview of what we would have with the four horsewomen. They weren't called that at that time, I believe, you know, a little bit later on. 
Uh, but all four women, really, all of them had a legitimate chance of coming out on top. Sasha Banks had been screwed out of the championship time and time again in the latter half of 2014. This was her time. I honestly, God, thought Bailey would win the championship here. She wouldn't for a couple more months. And even Becky Lynch, who really didn't come into her own until TakeOver Unstoppable in May, she had a really good showing here, too. She was kind of buddy-buddy with Sasha, but at the same time, she would screw over in a heartbeat if it meant becoming NXT Women's Champion. She had a really good showing here as the kind of like the wild card of the contest, and Charlotte was a great champion as it was. Um, so very similar to the previous matchup. They're very similar to the previous Fate of 4-Way. All four women just putting forth an amazing amount of effort and just, you know, an amazing effort in this contest. Everyone getting their shiny moment here or there or whatever. And I had actually yet to watch this match back until about two, three weeks ago when I watched back the NXT, the Best of NXT DVD that just came out. Um, I have that. I actually have it right here in my dorm room. Um, but I watched it when I was in spring break. This match was on there. I think... No, no, the Fatal 4 was not on there, I don't think. Maybe on the Blu-ray, um, but the other matches are. The top three matches are on the list. Uh, my top three matches on my list are on the DVD. Uh, but yeah, this match was just phenomenal. And really, to me, the best, at that time anyway, the best women's wrestling match I had probably ever seen. Um, if not that, then the best women's match in WWE period in many, many, many years. Just phenomenal stuff. So we get to number two on my list. I alluded to it earlier from NXT R Evolution. NXT TakeOver R Evolution. December of 2014, the match I had been waiting so long for. A little bit over a year for. For the NXT Championship, Neville defending against Sami Zayn. Now, Sami Zayn had a long road to the NXT title. Um, he went forward a few times in late 2013. He came up short each time. He came up short against Cesaro and then Tyler Breeze. And again, at NXT TakeOver Fatal 4-Way. He had yet to win a match at TakeOver. This was it. If he lost, he would leave NXT. And don't think for a second that that stipulation made the ending outcome predictable. There were many points during the contest, and I've, I've watched this match back at least four or five times at this point since it initially happened on the DVD, on NXT. Um, I watched it on the one-year anniversary back in December. Um, but that did not make the ending outcome predictable whatsoever. There were many points during the contest throughout the bout that it looked like Neville had the match won. Just a reverse, a crazy-looking reverse Hurricane Ron or Hurricane Ron or whatever. Um, a lot of super kicks, which are my personal favorite. I love the Young Bucks. That's why I love them. Super kicks are my thing. Uh, but yeah, it's just, you know, start to finish, just an amazing story told. Again, another great atmosphere in Full Sail University. A match that basically was one year in the making. They had a great match in NXT in November, I think, of 2013 that they actually alluded to in the build-up to this contest and Neville won to become the number one contender, coincidentally enough, to the NXT Championship at that time. He would go on to win it in February. Sami Zayn was left out, uh, you know, on the outside looking in. Until this night when he finally accomplished the dream, realized that dream, when he beat Neville after almost turning on the dark side, you know, shades of Stone Cold Steve Austin, WrestleMania 17, he had the title in his hands, he was going to hit Neville with it, he put it down deciding it wasn't the right thing to do, Neville rolled him up, it's like, no, fuck, it's going to cost him the match, and in the end, Sami Zayn powers out, turns it into a belly to belly, or, you know, one of his suplexes, one of his signature suplexes, Follows it up with the uh, Huluva kick to score the victory and become the new NXT champion. That's not even including the post-match celebration of the heel turn from Kevin Owens that would that would uh, follow up that to close out the event and just up to that point anyway. And it only gets better and better, like I said. my Up to that point, my favorite NXT takeover and my favorite match. Uh, of, you know, in, in NXT history. And then also at that point, too, and this, you know, despite my number one on this list, which is not really, you, you know, from the fact that I, you know, I'm wearing this shirt right now, you probably know what my number one is. I'm sure it's going to be number one for many other people as well. Um, but even up to that point, and, and still is to this day my favorite match of 2014, period, from any promotion. Love that match. Uh, Sami Zayn Neville from Our Evolution 2014. So we arrive at number one on my list, again, which should come as zero surprise, NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. Even if I wasn't there, this probably still would be my number one. For the NXT Women's Championship, August 2015, Sasha Banks defends against Bayley. An again, another match that was about not even a year in the making, almost two years in the making. Bayley and Sasha had been cornerstones of the NXT Women's Division for almost two years before they collided on the show. Bayley had a very rocky road to the NXT Women's Championship. But in the summer of 2015, she knocked out obstacle after obstacle after obstacle, beating Emma, and then Charlotte, and then Becky Lynch in a number one contenders match. This was her time. Her family was in the front row. And again, not too predictable. Just because Sasha was on the main roster didn't mean that they were... They could have screwed her out of the championship and just give Bailey the you know the title at the next special you know, um, so it was not predictable in the slightest. I mean, people had a feeling Bailey was going to win, but you never know with NXT or just WWE in general. So I thought the build up was amazing. And the video package itself probably not probably it is my favorite women's video package of all time, along with the one for respect too. Um, but just this match again, they told an amazing story. Sasha 
Still knows how to be a great heel. She's kind of tweener now in the main roster, but she knows how to be a very effective heel, squashing the hands of Bailey. And I've talked about this match at length before. I think I did a video a couple months ago, the best matches I've ever seen live. So I don't want to go too in-depth because I've already talked about it multiple times in the past that we talked about at the end of the year for the Year in Review Awards, the best match of 2015, hands down, in WWE or just in wrestling in general. It's hard to top, and I could say I'm very fortunate and thankful and appreciative that I was there to see this match in person, being a huge Bailey fan, as you can see, um, but just still, just an amazing contest start to finish. Both women having the, the performance of their lives on this night, and Bailey in the end hitting the uh, Bailey Conorana or whatever it's called from the top rope. Sasha, I was almost convinced that she broke her, ne uh, broke her neck. Uh, thankfully, that was not the case, obviously, and then Bailey following it up with a Bailey to belly to score the victory in one of the most emotional championship victories. Not that I've been in, you know, in attendance for, not only that, but just in general, in years and years and years. Grown men crying in the arena when Bailey won the NXT Women's Championship, which is saying something. So, wow, just an amazing bow. These two women really had me going nuts. I don't know if the footage is here on YouTube. I think it got taken down, unfortunately. You can find it on my website, post it on Twitter, and maybe Facebook. I have no idea. But I did take, I'm so happy I did too. I took footage of Bailey winning the championship, the reaction, me losing my voice. Just that whole night, that whole weekend was great. But the best match I've ever seen live and really giving my favorite match of all time between CM Punk and John Cena from the 2011 Money in the Bank pay-per-view, a real run for its money as my favorite match as a WWE fan, as a wrestling fan in general. So those are my top five NXT TakeOver matches ever, dating back two years to NXT TakeOver Arrival. I know there were no matches from that show, but from London, Fatal 4-Way, Rival, Our Evolution, Brooklyn. You know, a lot of honorable mentions too, like I said, Paige and Emma. Um, what was the other match from Our Evolution? Not Our Evolution, um, from Brooklyn. You know, the ladder match from Balor and Owens, I would put that up there too. That almost made the list, but I love the tag team match, so I had to include that one. But there's just so many that you can't go wrong with. You know, uh, also from that show, Liger versus Breeze. Jushin Thunder Liger versus Tyler Breeze was also another great match. So a lot of honorable mentions, but those are my top five. One more time to recap. Number five, The Revival versus Enzo Mori and Colin Cassidy for the NXT Tag Team titles from NXT TakeOver London. Number four, Fatal 4-Way Contest from NXT TakeOver Fatal 4-Way September of 2014 for the NXT Championship, Neville, Sami Zayn, Tyler Breeze, and Tyson Kidd. Number three from NXT TakeOver Rival from February of 2015 for the NXT Women's Championship, Charlotte versus Sasha Banks versus Bayley versus Becky Lynch. Number two, Neville versus Sami Zayn from NXT TakeOver Our Evolution from December of 2014 for the NXT Championship. And number one, undoubtedly the undisputed number one selection on my list for the NXT Women's Championship, NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, August 2015, Sasha Banks versus Bayley for the NXT Women's Title. And that's it, guys. Like I said, that's my top five. I would love to hear yours before NXT TakeOver Dallas tonight. Be sure to... Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Enjoy the show tonight. It's going to be fucking amazing. I can't wait to talk all about it on WrestleRant Radio next week and all the other avenues. You know, the article should be up right after the event concludes, so be sure to check out that on nextairwrestling.net. And it works out perfectly that the show is tonight because you have enough time to watch this video, reply, and watch all your other favorite NXT TakeOver matches before NXT TakeOver Dallas tonight. I'm sure all five of these matches should be replaced with five matches from tonight's show because it will be... Um, a hell of a show, I'm sure, so I can't wait for it. But anyway, guys, enjoy NXT TakeOver Dallas tonight. I'm Graham G.S. Matthews, and I'll catch you folks down the road.